So far tonight, switching gears, we are still seeing close races, very tight races in New Hampshire. Uh, as Scott Brown tries to unseat the incumbent, Gene Shaheen, and in North Carolina, uh, where Tom Tillis is trying to unseat the incumbent, Kay Hagan. So, so far, at least, Republicans are having some difficulty in, in putting wins on the board in those two states. Is it too soon for Republicans, other than in Kentucky behind you and in West Virginia, to be doing some kind of sort of a victory dance? Well, I think it's hard to beat incumbents. Well over 90% of incumbents win because of the advantage of being in office and being basically everywhere all the time and name recognition. But I think we're going to win some big races. I think we win in Arkansas. I think that's been projected. I think if we don't win outright, outright in Georgia and Louisiana, I think we win in runoffs there. I think we're going to win in Alaska, which we won't know for quite a while. So I think uh, we're going to pick up enough victories to take over the Senate. And I think it is a repudiation, basically, of the president's policies, but also of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton have been all over the place. They're trying to make it out as if they're somehow better for Democrats. Well, in Kentucky, they were soundly rejected. It sounds like you want to talk about a song. potential opponent there a couple of times. Well, they campaigned in Kentucky very heavily and in Arkansas and in Iowa. So I think uh, the facts are the facts. Did the Clintons help their ticket? So far, I don't think they have. Senator, quickly, uh, a White House official just released that the president has invited bipartisan, bicameral congressional leaders to a meeting at the White House Friday afternoon.